Next time you're packing a suitcase, I want you to remember to make sure the bar none is your destination. They liked you. Now, Thanks for the compliment. Oh, Brad, they liked you better. <laughs> you could win this. I, I could lose. How did this happen? Well, calm down. We have to go back out there in a few minutes. I could lose? I to luggage? Luggage? Mel, what are you doing? Mel, hey, some of that stuff in there is your... Oh, Mel! 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 Believe this! You're not going anywhere until I find out what in the world is wrong with you! Okay, fine. All right, Brad, what did you look like when you were a kid? What? Just answer. What did you look like? Well, like this, but younger. Why? What did you look like? I looked awful. I was fat, and my hair was kind of ratty, and I dressed funny. I was a mess. I spent a lot of time indoors, hiding, watching beauty pageants on TV. Pretending you were Miss America. No! No, I knew that could never happen. All I had to do was look in the mirror to tell me that. No. That's all different now. I guess. I kind of stop it. Brad, it doesn't go away, you know? And when I read about this Miss Tucson thing, I thought, maybe, maybe I could win. And it would, I don't know, fix something. I've never said any of this out loud before. Now I know why. I sound like an idiot. Time we got grilled. Rumor has the scores are really close. Don't get nervous or anything. Oh, no, you don't. I don't want it. Brad, you're giving me that pity look. Look, if you throw this round and let me win, I'll never forgive you. And now, the question and answer portion of our program. First question goes to Bradley. Pick any envelope, Brad. That's it. Here's the question you picked, Brad. What advice would you give a friend entering a pageant just like this one? Comfortable shoes? <laughs> I tell my friend that being in a beauty pageant changes nothing. What I mean is, when this is all over, you're still going to be the same person that you were when it started. A crown is nice, but it isn't magic. It doesn't make you different. Whether you win or you don't win, that's not what matters. If you're a good person, and you are, that's what matters. Thank you, Brad. And now, Melody, your question, please. There we go. Now, here's your question, dear. Why do you think you should become Miss Bar Nun? I don't. Oh, really. I... I messed up. I got so caught up in having to win that I, I became a crazy person. And a rotten friend. I'd know how to do it right the next time, but I don't think I did it right this time. So, that's my answer. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in just a few moments, we'll learn who will be crowned Miss Barnum. Mr. Ernst, we've reached our decision. And the winner of the first annual Miss Barnon competition is... And the loser is... Melody Hansen! Oh, 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 oh. Congratulations, Brad. I know you'll do great. Mel, you won! You won! Well, <laughs> Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. You have been a beautiful audience.
please remember souvenir programs are available for a nominal fee right outside the door. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Drive safely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, how does it feel? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> are you disappointed? No. I just got so bent out of shape when everybody was saying that I wasn't the Miss Tucson type. I felt that I had something to prove. Do you know what I realized? I'm not. I'm not fine. Brad. What? Thanks. Now, just tell me one thing. How in the world did I win this? <laughs> oh, well, I can answer that, dear. <laughs> It was almost impossible to choose. But your final speech was so sincere, so refreshingly honest, we had to pick you. And plus, Harry loved your home on the range. Oh, well, I'm glad <laughs> someone did. <laughs> and now, now you just go on and you kick butt in that Miss Tucson competition. <laughs> well, actually, Miss Irma, I've kind of given it a lot of thought. I'm not going to enter the Miss Tucson pageant. You're not? not? After all this, it's it's just not important anymore. <sighs> Brad? Oh, no, 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 no. My onstage packing days are over. <laughs> well, now I've heard everything. <laughs> and then what did the little prince do? He went back to his planet, and he never saw the pilot again. Oh, that's so sad. But every time the pilot looks at the stars, he thinks of the prince. Yay! Ooh. <laughs> wow, now I'm everything. Oh.